Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This guide is a follow on guide to the last guide I did with regards to tweaking Windows 10. Now this is more for advanced users, users, people that don't mind getting their hands dirty and risking their system. But uh, hopefully if you follow these instructions to the T, you don't need to worry about anything. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is uh, I went through disabling telemetry, so data collection in Windows 10, and we've done some basics before. So we're going to go a step further now. We're going to actually make some edits to the registry to stop this from happening. So, okay, so all we do is we click on the start button and then once the start menu appears, just type reg edit. That's R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit. Then after a few seconds, under best match, you should see registry editor. Move your mouse over this, then click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. And then move your mouse over run as administrator and click the left mouse button. The screen will then darken and you'll get this message saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, make sure it says registry editor and make sure that the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows. If both of those are true, then move your mouse over yes, left click once. Then the registry editor will appear. Now, be warned, if you do make a mistake in here, you could trash your entire system. So please ensure that you have a backup copy of your system, really, before you start meddling with any of this if you've got important stuff on your machine. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on the little arrow next to H key local machine, and then we wanna click on the arrow just to the left of software, and then we wanna click the arrow just to the left of policies, and then the arrow just to the left of Microsoft, and then the arrow to the left of Windows, and then we need to find data collection and click on data collection. And here we need to create a new 32-bit D word value. So move your mouse over any part of this white area here, click on the right mouse button, move your mouse over new, and then move your mouse over D word 32-bit value. Left click once, okay? And then we need to type allow, telemetry so that's allow telemetry that's with a capital a and a capital t so just like it's shown on the screen press enter or return on your keyboard and then double click on allow telemetry and make sure that the value says zero mine already says zero so that's fine so we just click on ok so the next thing we need to do is click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. And now we need to disable a couple of services. So left click the start button and then type on the keyboard services.msc. So services.msc and then move your mouse over services just up there under best match and left click once. Then we need to move our mouse over connected user experiences and telemetry. Double left click on that. We need to click on stop just there and wait for the service to stop and then click on the arrow in the drop down just to the right of startup type, select disabled. Then move your mouse over apply and then move your mouse over okay. And hopefully that should stop any data collection from Microsoft. Okay, so whilst we're in services, we might as well disable a few services from here. So what we need to do is we need to go down to the bottom here and we need to find Windows Mobile Hotspot Service. So if we don't actually use Windows as a mobile hotspot service, i.e. we don't share our connection, our internet connection with other people, then what we can do is we can double click on this, okay, and change the startup type to disabled, then click apply, then click okay. We can also go to the Bluetooth support service. So if we don't connect anything that's Bluetooth to your computer, there we go. 
we can double click on that and then change the startup type from manual to disabled, click apply and then click OK. If we don't use a fax facility on here as well, we can also disable that on there. So we can just double click fax, change the startup from manual to disabled, click apply and then click OK. If you don't want people remoting into your system, then we can go down to remote desktop configuration, change that from manual to disabled, click apply, click OK, and that stops that. If we don't use maps, then we can go to the uh, download maps manager there. OK, and then we can change that to disabled, click apply, click OK, and that stops that. Offline files, we can, uh, we can also turn that off as well. So we can go to disabled on that and, uh, and turn that off. Remote registry. That should be disabled already, but if it isn't, then uh, go to uh, go to it, double click on it, and change that to from manual to disabled. Click apply, click OK. If you don't use a smart card to get into your computer, again you can double click smart card, click on disabled, click on apply, click on OK. Uh, the retail demo service, you don't need that. That is just literally there for when the laptop or the computer's on display in a shop and it's in a demo service. So double click that, click disabled, click apply, click OK. If you don't use biometrics, i.e. fingerprint reading to log into Windows, then you can go down and find Windows biometric services, double click that, click on disabled, and then click apply, and then click OK. I think that also applies to if you use retina recognition as well on there. So if you don't use that either, then, uh, then that's fine. So there you go, there's just a few other things that you can do to uh, trim down your copy of Windows 10. If you have any other suggestions, then please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech, that's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.